JT in Windsor. Good day to you, JT. Yeah, morning, Michael. Morning, everyone. Pretty astonishing to be standing out here this morning. This is the Hawkesbury on the other side of Freeman's Reach Road. This is the irrigator inside the farm here. You can see just how much debris is still left. And you just can't get tractors in because the soil is completely sodden. We've got Trent here from Green Tree Farms. This is his farm. These are his cauliflowers. And we've got Tim from Three Threes, the condiments company where the cauliflower was going. How's the family? Um, we're, we're holding together pretty well. Um, we've got to, you know, keep going and try and get the next crop in and um, keep supplying free throughs with quality vegetables. So, so what's incredible, this is the current crop. This is two weeks away from being harvested, but they're completely destroyed. But the crop prior to this one was destroyed as well. So in uh, March, um, we had the same amount of cauliflowers. Um, they were also uh, submerged and we lost those. We replanted. Um, only to lose them again in July. The next crop was going to be potato, yep. but you just can't get in here. No, we're, it's too wet now. It, we'll lose our window, um, and there's just too much earth moving to do to fix the farm up. Now, can we talk finance? Do, does, it, does insurance cover this? What happens now? Um, we're not covered with any insurance uh, here on a floodplain. Um, it's just a uh, roll of the dice. So this year, three potential crops, you get zero? Yes. Yeah. That's devastating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's happened before? It's happened before, and um, I'm sure it'll happen again. Uh, it's just something we've got to plan for and, um, yeah, work with. And, yeah. It, it is just incredible to see this here this morning, and particularly, I think, with this fog over, it just makes it all the more eerie. Let's have a look at the forecast around Australia. Weekend sunrise weather, brought to you by the great taste of Primo. Mmm, Primo. Partly cloudy in Cairns, sunny at Mount Isa, sunny in Bundaberg and Brisbane, sunny in 22. Sunny for Burke and Tamworth, Sydney, showers clearing, a top of 18. Partly cloudy for Canberra and 17. Cloudy in Mildura, sunny in Melbourne and 18. Showers clearing in Launceston and cloudy in Hobart, 16. Showers developing for Adelaide and 20. Windy and cloudy for Cooper Pedy. Alice Springs sunny in 29, Darwin sunny in 29, and in the west, showers easing in Albany, showers for Perth in 16, sunny for Caratha and cloud clearing in Broome. So Tim is with 3-3 Condiments. Just to give the background, you guys have known each other since you were born. Your families have been in a business relationship for how many years? Uh, coming up to 80 years now, so yeah, uh, my father's seen Trent grow up and Trent's seen me grow up. So we all hear about the, the price of iceberg lettuce going to $11 for cauliflowers. How much of a difference do these floods make and then the knock-on effect to making condiments? Yeah, the knock-on effect is huge, but the pricing of um, commodities has gone up across the globe, really. But you see what the farmers go through and the hard work they put in, and just to be knocked around like this is um, devastating for them. Well, we're here with Plate for a Mate this morning. The Black Dog Institute are here as well. It's a campaign to try and support the farmers, support the producers. Uh, we'll show you how you can support as well throughout the morning. But, Trent, thank you for having us on, on the farm this morning. And it's just, as far as the eye can see, cauliflower that was ripe for the picking and just got taken out by the flood. Sal, Michael, we'll see you back yeah. here in half an hour. All right, JT, thank you. Look, and I think too often we move on from news stories. It's good mm. to have a 